Hi guys, welcome to BFS War Gaming. It's Patrick here. Um, we're going to talk today about the ETC. So, what is the ETC and how to play the ETC? So, the ETC stands for the European Team Championships. Um, so, it was um, made primarily, obviously, for people in Europe, but it's actually turned into sort of a World Team Championships, if you like. Um, it's held at a different place each year, so um, it's held at a different European country. I think last year it was held in Croatia or Czech Republic, somewhere, uh, somewhere like that, Czechoslovakia, somewhere like that. Um, so basically how it works is um, you can play the ETC style missions, um, obviously one-on-one -on -one and it's fine, um, but the ETC, as he was, like I said, it's a team, to uh, team tournament. So... Basically, how it works is you have eight players and then you, you face off against each other. Um, so it's it's a lot done in the tactics of who you're going to pick to your opponent. So what you do is you each team puts up a defender. Um, so And then you have to put forward against your opponent's defender two armies that... Um, you want to, and then the defender gets to choose out of those two armies which one they want to play. And then this goes back and forth um, until you're left with, on the last pick, um, so the two that don't get chosen to go against the defenders, they go against each other, and then the last two go against each other. So there's a lot of tactics on who you're going to put forward as defenders, who you're going to put forward as attackers, how it's going to end up at the end. You can have an extra two people in your team as like coaches and one is just an extra that you can like maybe put in if you feel like someone wants a rest or something like that. Um, so that's pretty much how the, the team um, works. So the ETC is run by what they call the Council of Captains, as far as I know it. All of the information that I've got, I've got from um, the Glasshammer Gaming website, which I'll put in the description. So um, basically... The council of captains decide on the rules and stuff. So again, um, you know, very much like the ITC. This is just another way of playing Warhammer 40k. It's still the Warhammer 40k rules, um, but they update the rules and stuff like that and what they use for these tournaments. So um, we'll go into like the missions and how they work. So with the ETC, they're still a lot more, uh, still closer to the Warhammer 40k because they use the Maelstrom missions um, and cards. They also use Eternal War. So in the same mission, you're going to be playing a Maelstrom and an Eternal War. So you can score points on the Maelstrom mission. You can score points on the Eternal War mission. You can also score points from kill points as well. So for killing units, you score points. And then you can score points from secondaries. Okay, so your secondaries are um, as they are in the main rulebook. So you've got First Blood or probably changed to First Strike now. So you can both score it. Slay the Warlord and Lion Breaker. Okay, so they are all the ways of scoring. So, like I said, you'll follow the missions, whichever they've chosen, the Maelstrom, the Eternal War. <clears throat> then you'll be able to get kill points and secondaries, as in all of the um, Warhammer 40k rulebooks. As in chapter approved and the called rulebook. So, um, at the moment, like, the teams are based around countries. I'm, I'm not sure if you can make up a team. Um, so maybe someone could let me know that plays the ETC. Um, I, at the moment, I think it's a world championship. So, so there's teams from like Canada. Um, so eight players from Canada, eight players from America, England, Poland, loads of different um, countries. So they come together um, each year and they, they fight it out um, to see who's going to win that title of the ETC champion. Uh, so... I did read in the glass one again, there's, there's no um, Forge World models. Um, each, even though you have eight, eight players in your team, they are still individual games, so you're still doing one-on-one. -on -one. So, if, you know, if you wanted to play an ETC-style mission, so you wanted to play the Maelstrom with the Eternal War, with Kill Points, and with um, Secondaries, like, it's absolutely fine. You can play that, you can practice it. Um, and I think it's actually a really good style um, of play. And how the points work is um, slightly different in terms of what they do is you take your points and your opponent's points and then you subtract your opponent's points from your points. And then you see on a table 
um, which is on the Glass Hammer Game website. There is a table on there to, to show you how many points you would score. And then what happens with the teams is they all get added together. And then so they can you can score a maximum of 20 points in your game. That's like a major victory, 20 points. So if you score... Um, so the maximum you can get with the eight is 160. So that's the sort of the maximum you can score. Um, but there's a lot of tactics involved, like whether people need wins, draws or losses. Obviously the coaches can come round, but they can't coach you on how to play the, the game. They can just tell you, oh, we need this or, you know, we need that. They can't say, oh, you forgot to do that or you need to do this because that is then cheating and you will forfeit the game. Um, yeah, so I think I've covered most of the aspects of the ETC. Um, if you've got any questions, then put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Also, obviously, if you go over to Glass Hammer Gaming, like there's all the information on there. You just click down the menu, it says ETC. You can click on that, it says what is the ETC. And there's a, a few different options as well. You can look into it um, and tournaments. And I know there are tournaments that do just individual ETC style tournaments. So um, I think it's a format that you um, could come across if you're playing tournaments, the same as the ITC, and then obviously just the regular Warhammer 40k um, tournaments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, like I said, any questions, put them in. If I don't know them, I'll research them and I'll answer them for you. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.